see live, okay? And make sure to hit the like button for y'all people out over here too who are popping into this live, okay? Oh, hey. If y'all, are, I know people them, they, they act like they don't like the mix up, but it's a mixed up place, yo. Oh man. City's been crashing out. Okay, so what kind of I don't want to come off like a gossip or, you know? <laughs> We're gonna do it though. We're gonna gossip today. <laughs> Here the gossip. Here to let him know what's up. <laughs> okay, so the real reason 88 glam broke up. Oh yes, very good reasons. Mm. I like that. I like that. That's 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 what I started off late. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the no, lighter. Let me get the lighter I didn't start off one. crazy with like, yo, the real no. reason this guy got shot. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I seen him. I seen him going off. I seen, mm-hmm. seen uh, Mino. Let me make sure I pull this up on the screen uh, so everybody can see. Yeah, man, start off light. Nothing crazy. And then, you know, we'll get into some more dramatic things here. Dramatic. Uh, Hold on. But he's about to drop. What am I looking at? Okay, there we go. Got it. Get in. All right. So, comment gang strong. I, I hope there's a video with this. This is courtesy yeah. of Canadian Underground and Six Sounds Entertainment. They're doing a little collabo right here. And let me make sure it's proper on the screen for you guys in the comment gang to see. Let's get to it. The real reason why 88 Glam broke up. Okay, let's find out why 88 Glam broke up. I know uh, the reason. I didn't, you know what? I haven't really gotten oh, in depth. He's going to tell you right now. Let's see here. Eric stole, stole our page and made it about him. It's fat ass nigga. Niggas Whoa. are that pressed over an in Instagram. Any nigga rocking with that guy can't rock with hold me. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, yo, bro, okay. that's a hard ER right there, fam. <laughs> chill bro you black my nigga <laughs> i woke up in the morning and i was like i try to log into my own page this nigga stole my page niggas want to act like that's normal niggas want to be like oh yeah mina's wilding out but like am i really wilding out me this nigga derek stole stole our page and made it about him split up is because this nigga derek didn't he was when my brother would come around he'd be like man fuck this nigga i'm like how are you saying fuck that's like me going to your mama's house and I'm like, man, her food is trash. Like, imagine me pulling up to your mom's crib and being like, man, fuck this woman. You know what I'm saying? And when I pulled up to this nigga's, I, I was like, yo, this is my brother. Like, he makes music too. He's like, nah, bro, don't bring this nigga through. Like, on some hating ass nigga shit. Terrible energy. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. That- I'm out of loop. This is the other nigga from the group, right? Or no, yeah, it's just. Yeah, 88 Glam, but it's uh, Camino. Okay. No, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. Derek's brother would be chilling at my crib making songs. He'd be making records at my house. I've been carrying niggas like on my back, nigga. Especially all you, these little, all my sons. <laughs> he talking about. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's going off. <laughs> Toronto. I carried all of you. Like I literally am a nigga that carries niggas through their entire existence. The reason why 88 Glam spl- split on, up. Hold on, there's more. It's there's... been five years. Abel can't even give me a verse? Jeez. I was I'm like, all right, my nigga. Like, what? Talking about the weekend. I was like, yeah, I'm a star. Holy. Bro. I was like, this guy's waste, bro. I was like, bro, you signed me for... Waste? Five years, you can't even give me a, a like, a, a, a 16 bar? That's why I fuck with Travis Scott. Because I realized that he dropped a whole album with all of his friends. Yeah, I seen that little bitch ass interview. This nigga's always like, oh, well, the dude. Like, I'm just like, bro, we all know you're talking about Mino. Like, just say the fucking word. He's like, oh, homie. Like, I'm just like, bro, like, actually talk about real shit that actually went down. It's been five years. Able. Yo, this guy's mad, yo. Yeah. And we ain't gonna get copyright now, bro. So that's what he had to say. That's and Fam. that's Camino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eighty eight Camino. Yeah. I he, wasn't really into their music. No, no, no well, offense to them, but I wasn't really on to them like that. Well, like if I, you if you knew about Get Home Safe. Yeah, they were signed to um, to EXO, right? Well, no, no, but first they were Get Home Safe. Oh, their their name of their group. Yeah, it was Derek, break it down. Break it down. It for was me, Derek man. Wise, uh, eighty eight. Okay. Jazz, 
uh, Tona, right? No, jazz, Tona. jazz Cartier, Jazz Cartier. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then after Jazz went on his own, you know what I mean? Um, Tona went on his own. He became. He started doing DJing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, these two went on to. Be- and not Tona, the rapper Tona. No, no, no. The other one. Yeah. The other yeah. one who was in the group. He was the light skinned one. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh and then these two, they went on to become... 88 Glam. Exactly. With And then I guess they got signed to EXO, but I guess it was just a development deal or something. I don't know. Because mm. they never had the record actually with The Weeknd. But they had it with Nav. They had a big record with Nav, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I remember that. And somebody said it was called... Um, Stoner Simpson said it was called Funeral Service. Does that mean anything to you? Funeral Service. Cause like I feel like the common gang there, they might have yeah, some information. Yeah, but I'm on saying this. like I know I know him to be a part of like Get Home Safe. Like that was like the crew. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was the crew. I know that was a crew. Like they were a crew. Mm. You know what I mean? I know they had a couple records out there. And, and what I'm, allegations are these guys talking about? Let's just talk about their allegations. What allegations? Well, the allegations are that that Derek Wise took his account. But I don't think that that's the only reason why they broke up. I feel like there's more to this. Mm. And look, Derek Wise is in the comments. I didn't even catch that. Cooked. Cooked. Yeah, but he's just saying like cooked as in like, you know what I mean? Probably like, like high as shit. Because look at what fucking, mm, you know? I, it sounds like he's trying to call Cap. Mm, Caparoni. Yeah, yeah, Cap gun. You know what I'm saying? Cappuccino. <laughs> but to me, it's like, it's not even out there like that. Remember, they're not like, out there like that you know what i mean to me personally they were right? a pretty big group i they're just wasn't into group, their but shit they're not like out there like that on some street shit yeah, i'm not yeah. i'm not gonna start to say they're not street niggas right in in all due respect they yeah be doing whatever they're doing and keeping it low you know what i'm saying but i'm just saying i respect that yeah and they ain't gonna do nothing to each other i would hope not yeah right i hope it's just like you know like Derek's about to drop some shit soon do you think that they can independently, not independently, but like solo yeah. wise, like yeah. do their thing, like, or they need to be a group? No, they're gonna beef right now, so I'm gonna tune in. Mm. They're beefing right now. I'm tuning in, right, in that okay. sense. Because sometimes some groups are better together. You know what I'm saying? Like Very Ray much, Shrimmer, like, for example, and right? Amigos, Amigos, like they they all do okay solo wise, uh. but as a group, especially with like. There's not that many groups, so when people get comfortable to, with you as a group, it's hard to now make a whole new solo career. Like, yeah, very it, hard. Derek Wise, I'm going to have to get to know him, Derek Wise. Yeah. Same with this guy. Yeah, yeah, in a sense, but I feel like I did get to know them just by them being the group also. Mm. Their characters did come across. You know, they look different in a sense. You know, he had more of a flamboyant kind of style yeah 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 Derek Wise has that more you know laid back pimped out style you know what I'm saying yeah so it's like you know it was the yin and yang but it matched mm, mm. also with the music and the sound um I feel like yo he uh 88's very creative yeah so you gotta watch out for a guy like that he reminds me of a, a little bit like Andre 3000 he gives me that Andre 3000 vibe mm. very eccentric very 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 musically inclined you know what i'm saying so yeah, like yeah yeah whatever his complaint is it feels to me it's a valuable complaint because i don't really hear from him he's not he's not doing this for clout what he's letting your, us know what's going on what are your thoughts on him not getting him complaining about the weekend not giving him a verse for the five years that they were down hey he's just he's just speaking his mind dog you know what I mean? Do you think that he should, like, 88 Glam should have got a weekend verse when they were signed to EXO? Should have, could have, would have. You don't have so to. they got the NAV one. You mentioned yeah, that. Yeah, they got the NAV but one. He, I guess he wasn't satisfied with that. Which he you, should, you don't have to be. You want to go up more, right? Mm. You, you got that taste. You want some more, right? You trying to get you trying to get plaques here, dog. You trying to get you trying to get money forever. Yeah, can I and get you, an able verse? Yeah, right? And he there probably hanging with him all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like. Doing rails off the, <laughs> off the off the board. Doing rails on my keyboard. <laughs> what you looking at me for? There's a room full of niggas. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh Lee, you know what I'm Too saying? Hard for that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me, dog? No, for sure, no, for sure. But I'm I'm being real. Like I see it more being like 
Derek hasn't said shit, mm. but but cook. You know what I mean? Which he doesn't have to say nothing. Just let his work speak for itself. Yeah. Right? He, I know he cooking up something right now. He just cooking. He's probably just cooking. But I'll tell you the truth. 88 Camino make, makes way better music in a sense. Like So I, he's the he's really the Avant. He's the talented they one of remi- the group. Yeah. They remind me of Outkast. So, okay. This you Outkast say, breaking up. <laughs> he's... He's the Andre 3000, you said. Yes, he's the Andre 3000 of Canada. Okay. In that sense, the eccentric sense. And even lyrically, he he does come off, you know, very inclined, mm. right? You got to catch on to him. And I like that about him, right? You got to take in his shit, people. Don't just don't just base it off of his look. Yeah. Okay? It's just like taking his shit. You know what I mean? Then you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about. He's like and this is like cuz you don't hear from him. Mm. So for him to say something about something I'm going to, right now, I'm kind of just like, I'm going to listen to him yeah, just yeah, to see yeah. what he's talking about. Why did y'all break up? And Derek already did his interview, so I guess he's going to mm-hmm. have to reply again Yeah, to what he said. Yeah, I guess so, if he wants to. More than just cooked. Yeah, but sometimes the best, best, best way to say anything is not say anything at all. Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. know what I mean? Well, that's facts. Right? Uh, we love hip-hop. Hip-hop. Hip-hop.